Hey, once again, this is Robert from Clean Pool and Spa. Uh, I'm doing a little work on the computer here and thought I'd make uh, some videos while I have a few minutes. Uh, but this video is about uh, algicide overdose. What happens if you overdose on your algicide? Well, you probably know that you do uh, because if you go through three or four bottles and then you look at the at the directions on the bottle and only says one, then you know. Or if you have, uh, you know, a foaming issue uh, or bubbles, m massive amounts coming off the pool surface, then you know something is wrong. Uh, so you overdosed on your algicide. What to do? <clears throat> well, there are a few things. One, algicides are meant to break down over time. So you can give it some time and it'll eventually work its way out. Um, and you can also, but during this process, you're gonna need to filter and backwash. Keep the filter on 24 seven and just continue to backwash. Um, the second way is you can drop uh, some water, you know, maybe a quarter to a half and refill it. Now, <clears throat> if this happens in the winter time and the water table is, is, is a little high in your area, um, I would caution you to do that. Um, dr dropping your pool water because of, of the the pressure is not equalized so that's that's a that's pretty tricky to do that um, also shocking your pool can also uh, speed up the breakdown process of the algicide now you can get you know for for, for the the foam on top you can get what's called a leaf rake it's a wide mouth it, yeah well lot wide mouth leaf rake or about this big with a, with a uh, uh, with a net pocket, and they are excellent. If you have a little blue skimmer, um, they're good for play pools and things like that. But if you have a pool, you know a a, a real pool, you know 15, 20, 30 thousand gallons or whatever, you need to get a leaf rake. You can go around and scoop out uh, uh, as much foam as you can. So those are some ways that that you can deal with an algicide overdose. Um, so that's it. Don't, don't worry about it. You know, a lot of people have done it and, you know, it will go away eventually, you know, how long I couldn't tell you, you know, ballpark figure, maybe a week or so. Uh, but just, like I said, just keep filtering and backwashing. Um, it'll eventually break down, scoop out as much foam as you can. Or like I said, if, if you want to, you can go ahead and shock it and that'll speed up the process as well. Uh, so that's it. I'm Robert uh, with Clean Pool and Spa. Be sure to check out my my website. You can find that in the description box. So lots lots of great information over there. So until next time, uh, stay safe and happy swimming. Bye.